All right, welcome back. On this video, I want to talk about something that you, if you're going to do a business online or if you're going to have a presence online, you're going to have to become familiar with and you're going to have to create a process or a system that makes it easy for you to access this and that is passwords. <laughs> When I do business online or when I have um, clients or people that I sign up, it's absolutely necessary that I have a system to set up my passwords because you have so many different um, things that you use, right, that require a password. Everything, Facebook requires passwords, LinkedIn, all those require a password. And you have to change those passwords from time to time, right? And <laughs> sometimes... I know, you'll forget, right? And sometimes you'll be like one letter off. Sometimes you'll capitalize something when it shouldn't be capitalized because you, you have so many passwords that uh, it's difficult to remember. And you'll change a password and then you'll forget that you changed it, right? Or you'll uh, have numbers at work, wherever you work that you use and you will wonder did, did I have a password here for that and not here or what is that password like that you know what I'm talking about right <laughs> so how do you organize your passwords and what works best for you because that's something that a beginner could uh, really benefit from right off the bat right and one of the ways I do it, it took me a while to get here because I didn't understand um, how necessary those were, right? I thought, well, I could just use the same password for 10 places and then use another password for 10 more places, right? Uh, that's not a good process. That's not a good plan, right? You got to have more, a better plan than that because uh, let's say you don't get to those places on a regular basis. Like you might not, you might have uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, but you might only go to three places on a regular basis. That third, that fourth pa password is still the same. But let's say you're changing these three, you're changing the first three passwords like every six months, or you know every nine months, or maybe every quarter, just depending on how you know um, secure you need your system. Uh, then, if you don't remember those passwords, you're you're not just you know changing little bits and pieces. You're basically changing the entire password, right? So you're gonna have to have a place that you put those that you can access those. So this is what I do. This is what I suggest a beginner would do. There's a place called Notepad. I know you've heard of it. You click on Notepad and every time you change your password, you type it in the Notepad and you save it to your desktop under something else. Not, not passwords, come on now. Use your mind. Save it under something else that only you know what it is, right? And then as you, every you have to become consistent though. This is major. You can't do it. You can't change the password and not put that in there, right? You must become consistent. And it only takes so long before you will automatically do it, right? So, like, if I'm going to change a Facebook password, uh, it might take me uh, a minute or two minutes to change the password. But I have to go to that prompt or the icon on my desktop, click on that, and put that password in there, right? And once you do that, you'll have a list of places with passwords, but only you'll know that that's your passwords, right? So you'll, but you'll know, what is that password? I can't think of that password. You'll go right to that folder, boom, you got it, right? Now, like these videos, share these videos, subscribe to these videos. You see how I put that in there? <laughs> okay, let's talk about something else now. What I want to talk about is this. What have you done thus far this year that you're proud of? I'll wait. <laughs> okay, if that is nothing, then we can change that. But we need to start doing something, right? And don't let me keep doing something and you're not doing nothing and you keep watching me. Because I can tell when that happens. I can tell because you'll start to mean mug me. You'll start to give me uh, bad vibrations when I when you watch me. <laughs> and I can tell that because I do have that ability. 
So don't do that. Start to make a plan to do something. Let's do something over the next 90 days. Over the next 90 day window, let's do something we are not doing right now and do something different. But if you are doing something, continue. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing because you can get there. Keep pushing. Don't let nobody tell you. Don't let the negativity around you affect you. You know where you are with that. And there's only certain people that know where, I, where I'm coming from with that. Everybody here watching this is not uh, familiar with that. <laughs> Please believe that. But you know that I know if that's you. Because I've been there. I've had to fight through that. And uh, I didn't know if I would make it. I didn't, uh, but I didn't think I wouldn't make it. But I didn't know. But I knew it would take time. I knew it would take a lot of time. And it took quite a while, you know. But I got it done. And now I look forward to the next opportunity, to the next challenge, because um, I know I can do it. And you'll get to that point. And that's the point I want you to get to. And I want you to get there a lot quicker than it took me to get there. The only thing you have to do is understand how important it is to follow somebody that can help you believe in you until you start to believe in you, right? Until you start to see results that... Uh, is are undeniable when it comes to is it possible for you, right? And that will happen for you. People around you will start to say things like, "Hmm, I start I seen Larry. Larry's not uh, the same Larry anymore. You know, he's uh, he's kind of off to himself. You know, just uh, staying, do it. Look like he's always busy. Look like he's you know focused on something. I don't know what he's doing, but uh, you know, it's not any." We just go here, go there like we used to. Nope, it doesn't work like that. Now things have to be scheduled. Right? Time becomes an uh, asset for you rather than just something to do. Right? You don't just go home and watch five hours of television. No. Uh, one guy I studied called, what do you call television? He called television, let me see if I can remember that. <clears throat> the uh, financial... Uh, what is it, the cash, um, I can't remember exactly what he said, but whatever it was, it was in line with, the, it takes away your money. It, it doesn't allow you to make money because it takes away your ability to become creative. You can't think because you're being guided. See, when you're watching TV, you're going from one episode to the next episode to the next episode, and then you can't wait for the next episode, right? But when you're creating those episodes, you, you are the person who are who is behind the camera, so to speak, creating what other people are seeing, guiding people to another place, right? And that's okay. But just understand where you are in that in that back and forth, right? <laughs> and if you're in the uh, part where you're being uh, the consumer, then you're being led. You're, you're not leading. And... You, you can't believe that you're being that you're leading when you're being led. You can't believe that because when you're going out and buying what I'm saying, but go out and buy. When you're going out and doing what I'm saying, go out and do. And you're not doing what because of what you want. You're doing it because I'm guiding you there, and I think it's going to benefit me opposed to benefit you. Then that's a whole other uh, you know thing to look at when you when you view that through the lens of someone who knows where they're going and what they want. Right, but you know what you want, right? You know what you want, and you also know when you're not on track. You know that because I know people. We will play like we don't really uh, understand why what happened happened, but we pretty much know what part we had in that. Right? We might not say, <laughs> and we might not raise our hand and say, "Yeah, I did that," but at the end of the day, you know, if we Put that camera shine on you and say, okay, now explain that to me. What was your role in that? <laughs> You're going to have to admit, you know, I saw you. And it's going to be hard to convince anybody else that this is not what happened. right? And we're talking about your life. We're, this is your life. Because, you know, you might have that happen one day. I don't know what the afterlife is like. Uh, the way that works Maybe you have like a visual of, okay, Larry, this is uh, what happened here. <laughs> what happened there, you know, and, uh, you know, how are you going to respond? I want to say this to you. 
Do you see how uh, comfortable I am with this? Do you see how easy it is for me to do this? It becomes that way. Things become easier over time. It's not that serious. You know, when you think about it, as long as it positions you as the expert, as long as it generates an income that allows you to continue to help people that you're helping, and as long as it allows you to be ethical and honorable, you know you can do it. That, because that's what you want. You don't want to hurt people, right? You don't want to go through life taking and not helping, or you know, you know, just strong arming people. You want to understand systems of how things can go, go for you that lines up with your <clears throat> with your mind, body, and spirit. Because we don't like doing things that go against, you know, us ethically. We don't like that. You know, some people do that and they get used to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if they can figure out a way not to do that, I believe truly that they would stop doing that. I really do believe that. Because they just didn't get the right people in their lives. Uh, in their lives. Some people uh, go through life in what I call uh, a negative understanding of how life really is. Because they get the wrong people in their lives. And it's possible to get the wrong people in your life. Please know that. Uh, we all go through that. We all have gone through some situation where that either happened or it could have happened or, you know, uh, was avoided by, you know, fate or whatever you call it. But, you know, when you look at how, how many people are in the world and how diverse uh, the understanding or the beliefs of everybody is, then, you know, you got a melting pot of different differences. And some differences are good, but they can also be unhealthy in a lot of cases, right? All right, I'm not gonna go down that road, but like these videos, share these videos, and subscribe to these videos, and I'll see you on the next video. Speakerlarry.com.